Huawei is trying something bold, partnering with Leica for the dual rear cameras on its new smartphone. But before we can tear into a proper review, we have to get this thing out of the box. I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell for Pocket Now, and here's our first impressions of the Huawei P9. Cracking open the packaging, we're treated to the familiar trappings of most flagship phones. The device greets you up top, a little tray divides the phone from the included accessories, small containers hold the USB cable, charger, and some earbuds. An additional folder is included, but oddly there weren't any papers inside for us to not read. Overall though, this is a slick presentation greeting you with your new phone purchase. The P9 gives off a premium first impression. Aesthetically, it's a polished up relative to low cost offerings like the Honor 5X. A harder edges and it's a flatter slab of rectangle than the curvier look of the G8. There are obvious comparisons to be made here between the P9, HTCs, and iPhones, but Huawei is delivering subtle elements which keep this device from being an outright copycat. The rear mounted fingerprint sensor and cameras which stay flush with the foam body are two examples. Thin, shiny chamfered edges help this device sparkle in daylight, and an LED hidden in the ear speaker grill delivers subtle alerts for missed notifications. We've got a 5.2-inch 1080p LCD powered by a Kirin 955 octa-core processor. Our review unit came with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage with microSD card expansion. A 3000 mAh battery is packed into this petite frame, and USB Type-C is the port of choice for charging and syncing. Firing up the P9, the first boot was fairly quick, about mid-pack for the nicer phones we've tested recently, and the setup process is free from an abundance of custom logins or additional services to sign into. It's worth reiterating that Huawei continues a tradition of including an excellent fingerprint sensor, and the training process is one of the fastest available on any phone. Unsurprisingly, we're using Huawei's EMUI Custom Launcher. This homage to iOS removes the separate app drawer, so all app shortcuts and widgets are combined on your home screens. We've seen this layout on a number of Huawei's in the past, and if this setup doesn't appeal to you, you can always install another launcher. All of this feels on par for activating a new high-end phone, but general performance isn't what's interesting about this particular handset. We really want to look at those dual cameras on the back. Now, while we're still shooting to produce a full camera review, the early testing looks promising. This Leica-designed system delivers some bright and colorful photos. Dual 12-megapixel sensors paired with an approximately 27mm equivalent field of view and f2.2 apertures are all respectable metrics. What's interesting here, and which requires more testing, is the split between the two sensors. The inside camera is a standard phone camera solution. The outside camera is a monochrome black and white shooter. Like the rods and cones in the human eye, each camera handles a specific task. This is supposed to deliver brighter images, better clarity, and to allow for more flexibility when shooting. Now, some of our first images would seem to support those assertions, and we'll have more to report on that front soon. As spoiler alert, the ability to adjust background blur after the fact is pretty stonking cool and some of the best software processing we've ever seen for this effect. After that, the regular smartphone questions remain. How's the battery hold up to daily use? How's the audio playback? How does the Kirin chipset compare to Qualcomm and Samsung powered devices? The Huawei P9 is off to a solid start. And now we'll dig deep to see what this thing can really do. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for our full coverage of the Huawei P9 and hit that thumbs up button for a little more positive reinforcement. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell. You can chat me up on Twitter and Instagram as some gadget guy, and I will catch you all on the next video.